Aries, good morning. Welcome to your reading. Just a couple of points. These energies do ebb to and fro. They emanate from you. They come towards you. Please take the bits that resonate and leave the rest. You know, these are general readings. Sun, moon, rising. Okay. So. Oh, just before I get into the reading, I would like to point out that my email is in the description box below please feel free to contact me if you like this video or any other video i put up i've been more than happy to send you all the information for a personal reading right so what's going on with you right i'm going to do this slightly different today now i don't usually read reversals okay but i'm going to shuffle these cards in such a way that when they fly out however they land that's how i'm going to read them okay so here we go what's going on with you oh there you go the, <laughs> the magician straight away upside down what are you giving up on aries what are you giving up it's like communication is being misunderstood Okay, it's like here you're trying to deal with a situation, perhaps there's a third party. Now, maybe you're married, maybe the person's married, maybe you're living with somebody, whatever the situation. I'm kind of getting your soulmate as appeared here. All right. Now, what I'm getting also here is you're losing faith in this situation. Now, I'm getting whatever it is you're, whoever it is you're dealing with, if they're married and they can't seem to make up their mind, okay, it's kind of like you're losing faith very quickly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's... There's, there's a lot of mistrust around this. Hmm. It's as though you want to let somebody down gently, but you're not saying anything because you kind of feel, well, there's not only a lack of confidence here, but what I'm getting here is there's, there's a fear of being misunderstood. It's like you want to let go of a situation here, but you don't want to go through the aggravation of fighting arguments etc right what else do we have this this is the energy i mean let's let's get your energy in particular towards this person what is your energy towards this person <laughs> it's a lack of stability now you i'm kind of getting a lot of you don't want to give up your freedom Ooh. Mm. You, you're finding it very very difficult to get your financial independence. Maybe you are married or in a situation, you know, possibly even work, you're signed under a contract, but getting, getting your financial independence, getting your independence here is very difficult for you. That's, there's a very clingy energy around you. Possibly even jealousy and resentment. Possessive. Wow. Very possessive energy. How is this going? It, yeah. it's, it's like you want to relocate here. You want to move on to better things from your point of view. It's like you've tried and you've tried and you've tried and you've tried and you've still not accomplished that lifestyle that you want with this particular person. I mean, you're seeking a, a fairly easy going life, a, a, a person with peace and harmony, you know, who you can share life with, you know, and. Yes, having to deal with life's normal knocks, but uh, yeah, this is kind of way past that. Let's see. 
<laughs> Seven of Pentacles, yeah. I'm kind of getting that you're restructuring your money. Okay, saving, perhaps taking a job. Okay. It's not happening as fast as you would like, that's for sure. It's as if here there's a power that's or somebody that's got control of your money or control of the money in the situation you're in and you want to do something for you. Well, with this seven of pentacles here, you are working towards that nine of pentacles. Yeah, this this there's a situation here that you feel really does have to change. What what are your intentions? What are your intentions? Oh yeah. Devil Ten of Wands, yeah. To get your freedom. Well, yeah, there's a very, very um very, very biased relationship going on here. But you know, despite the difficulties, you intend to press on, you intend to push through this. You feel like you've started something and it's kind of like, I'm gonna do what it takes. So I'm kind of getting this reverse magician here. You know, lack of confidence, lack of communication, a lack of responsiveness of the people you're dealing with. You intend to see this through, you in, you, you, you really are standing in your power here. I'm getting some Capricorn energy here. Doesn't doesn't matter if you're not dealing with a Capricorn, it's just that energy. You're keeping secrets as well. Wow. Mm -hmm. Keeping quiet until you're ready to act. Because with this devil, I always get, you know, the mask. Somebody's wearing a mask. There's a pretense going on here. It's like in the past, somebody's knocked your fire out of you. Wow. That's a definite no-no for Aries. Yeah, you, you want your individuality here. You're in control of your emotions here also. I mean, you've been successful in a lot of areas of your life, but... There's one area of your life in relationships or work that is just out of balance. You're passed over, being held back. Let's get the energy you're dealing with. Let's get the energy of the person or people you're dealing with. Mm. Major Pentacles. They're certainly not investing their time and energy into it. They're perhaps being fairly reckless with money. <laughs> I'm getting here, maybe you're dealing with somebody who perhaps has an addiction, gambling or something like that. I'm getting a recklessness with money here. Somebody here who just does something on the spur of the moment. It's like they can't help themselves. Kind of getting for some of you. You've, this has been going on for a while, but you've just become aware of it. So it's caught you unawares. So you, you wasn't prepared for this. Well, I mean, what's their feelings for you? What are their feelings for you? Well, they seem to have a lack of enthusiasm. There could be children involved here, but everything's upside down in their world. Yeah. There's somebody who is very, very impulsive. It's like they don't... <laughs> person is very secretive mm. the secrets here 
what else do we have? You're coming into your power though. It's like you're tired of waiting. Yeah, there's a lack of commitment here. Both sides. Your commitment's being tested to yourself energetically. Okay, but there's a lack of commitment here. Somebody here is not very good with money. So you're trying to gain your independence from this situation. This could be a work situation. You could be in a work partnership. It's not necessarily romantic, but somebody is reckless with money. Not considering anything. A bit selfish, in fact. But you're gaining your power here. You're, you're ready for change. Where's this most likely to lead? Ooh. Well, things turning in your favour. I'm kind of getting here for some of you. Moving into another partnership. Buying somebody out of a partnership. Going solo in work and perhaps in relationships. All right, being with somebody or putting yourself with somebody. There's another connection here, a much more loving connection, much more balanced connection here for some of you. All right, and it's feeling good. This is what the, this is what's inspiring you to make your move. You're making preparations. You're very, very patient. In fact, you're moving up a notch. Because you know, your feelings is this seven of pentacles. Bottom of the deck is eight of pentacles. So you're working towards happiness. Perhaps a reunion with somebody. Um, you're working towards this. You're going to turn that around. Get your financial independence. Get back in your power. I've got the page of swords and the lovers cards here. The truth's coming out. I'm kind of getting whatever it is you've got to say to somebody is going to come out all the secrets thanks very much for watching